Tell well, us about what you. you do. Tell us about the company. What we do is incident response. So most of the cases are close to like a cyber emergency mm -hmm. situations. Like the cyber patient believes that most likely he's going to die. It's mm -hmm. the worst cancer ever they had. And they need to literally a few cyber oxygen, cyber hugs, tell them everything's going to be okay. A nice cheery analogy. Uh, exactly. Yeah. And then we'll try to help them. We'll try to get them out of it. Right? So our goal is to get them out of the emergency room, cyber emergency room, to normal general hospital and a rehab. What do you do when they call about ransomware? I'll ask them, do you think you can recover the data? Do you need to pay, yes or no? Let's say they say, I have no idea if I should pay, I think I need my, like they're sort of just, I'll bet you get somewhere sort of confused. Just can't give a real clear answer about anything, they just don't know what to do. What so then we do? try to analyze, can they really recover the data? Would yeah. they need to pay the threat actor? Let's to say get you can't back? recover it. So then you have, you either you rebuild it, you decide I'm not paying and I'm going to spend money to rebuild yeah. it, or I'll pay it and I'll get my data back. Yeah. I wrote a blog a year ago where I said something like that. I said, look, first off, the best thing to do is have an architecture and a scheme where you don't get ransomware, duh, right? I mean, there should be backing up, you should be robust, distribute, all the things you and I would say. I, I would love to but, I disagree with you. It's almost like getting a quote. Can you prevent or get a cold? <laughs> I guess you can totally, but you can you can try not to go out in the rain with no shirt on. I mean, you can do yeah, some there are things you can yeah. So I said that, but I said then I was sort of agreeing with you that I said, look, maybe you just pay. You know, is that so terrible? I mean, if you're going to get your stuff back, maybe most of the companies do pay. I can I'll tell be you, darn. Yeah, you know, most people don't say what you just said. That's interesting. I would say eighty percent of the victims that we had had to pay. Wow. What's the biggest fine you ever saw anybody pay? Uh, half a million. Wow, that's a ton of money. No. It seems like it's a ton of money to No, me. imagine. So now, right now, ransomware <laughs> in, the, in, the, in these waters here in yeah. New York, the uh, group is heavily focusing on a union type of a business. Yeah. And under a union, if you don't run a payroll, your penalty might be, let's say, from one and a half to two and a half million dollars. We had a construction company that if they did not rent a payroll, it would be close to $2 million penalty. So now if someone is asking you to pay a quarter of that, you pay. Perhaps.